All right, hello everybody. It is Coach Talon, your coach of the Atlanta Braves, bringing to you week uh, two of the UPVA non-upload required league. This week we are taking on Brother Mario B. Sorry, I I blanked. Um, and his Roll Street Villa Booms. Now me and me and Mario have a bit of a bit of a feud going in UPVA non-upload required because uh, so we were right next to each other in the draft, right? And round two, right before he was about to grab it, I took his Rillaboom. And then I think the round after that, right before I was about to take it, he took my Gengar. So we have a bit of a feud going. You know, we got got we got to get a revenge for Gengar. Um, but it is what it is, man. We're just gonna get it going. He has a bit bit of a threatening team. He has Rain Gang, like Hello Rain Gang, like Zapdos, Kingdra, Politoed, even a Seismitoed and Armalo up in that. So Hello Rain Gang, very threatening. But we got Trace Gardevoir with the Choice Scarf to hopefully be able to, to pull some shenanigans with that. I do expect... Oh, wow. No Rain Gang. Okay. He brings a very different team than what I expected. So we see Pharaoh Thorn. We see no Kingdra. We do see the Savali. I imagine, if anything, I feel like Savali Dark is the best against me. Um, we see no Pissimian, we see Persian, and we see no Seismitoad, we see Azo. Okay. So, as far as things that I want to lead, I kind of like my rocks in this game. Um, I do like rocks. Actually, eh, rocks are okay. I'm a, I'm a lead Prism. And get up my rocks. I there are ads, and that's on me. So the Pasho Berry on Hades is useless now. Um, I could have been heavy duty boots. I would prefer to have been heavy duty boots, but it is what it is. For those of you who don't know, the Pasho Berry weakens super effective water types attacks, which I thought would be coming my way. Um, so maybe I bring a bit of a different team that he was expecting. I I do have Hell Gang. Hell Gang would have been hella nice, but I mean Sand Slash was not doing the do. On, like, if he brought rain gang so full 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 hail gang would have been nice in this game not even gonna lie with you probably wasn't expecting it probably was expecting it but he's gonna go ahead and lead elgato that's the persian i love that all right and our calcs are not super ready so he could get a very nice uh knockoff going we take 43 percent from a foul play i'm just gonna get on my rocks I have no problem with just getting on my rocks here. He actually is just going to parting shot. Which is fine by me. We're going to get up our rocks for free. He could go into Ferrothorn or Sovali. Would be very good plays. Um, he could go into Gengar. But if he goes Gengar, I think I just Photon Geyser. And I stay in front of that. Right? Like, if he goes Gengar for whatever reason... Like, he never kills me unless he's... He goes Az Elf. Okay. So, Az Elf. I don't really want this thing to start, like, setting up in my face. But I also can't do much. Um, So, we're going to get our rocks. And I think I just go into my Hades here. He could get rocks up of his own, which would be a pretty good play. But, I don't know. I'm just going to go into my, my Incineroar. And we can click knockoff. I see just U-turns. Okay, so he's get, he's getting hella momentum. Hella momentum. Um, As far as things that come in, I could see the Zapdos or the Persian coming in. I think either way, I can get a fairly free knockoff going. So, I'm not too concerned. I get a fairly free knockoff no matter what wants to come in. As this is Zapdos. Okay. Um, if he's like defensive Zapdos. Yeah, I think knockoff is just a fairly good play. And I can knock off in a parting shot. We are fairly specially defensive. He does hurricane. He misses. That's super tough. I'm so sorry. He gets a static in return. So I guess that's justice for that. 
and he was heavy duty boots so i'm just gonna click a nice parting shot for me Yeah, it's a pretty easy play for for me. I just um, as he hurricanes again, hurricanes again. He lands it. Doesn't do a whole lot. And we are gonna get a good parting shot off. Um, I'm gonna go into my vanilla. So I'm gonna set up the hail, and I can get I can um I can Aurora Veil. I can also Toxic Licky. But for me, I think Aurora Veil is the best play. Baskin Robbins. Yum. You know? I was gonna name it like Coldstone, but I don't know if everybody knows Coldstone like that. I know, I don't yeah, like I don't know. Like we only have one here in Vegas as far as I know. I well I think we got a couple, but one like main one. So I'm gonna click Aurora Veil vale here. As he does withdraw. If he withdraws, I imagine it's like who am I? Okay, Savali. Is this Steel Savali? That's Steel Savali for sure, right? We're just going to get Veil up. And we are going to check really quickly which Silvali this is. It is Steel Silvali. Okay. So if it's Steel Silvali, I'm going to go into my... Oh, I don't have Earthquake? I thought I had Earthquake. I think I go into my... My, my Melmetal. I was going to say something else. That would have been mildly inappropriate. He could parting shot. He does parting shot. Okay. So out comes someone. We'll find out. Could be Persian. Could be Zapdos. Could be. I could see Ferrothorn. I could see Ferrothorn. If he goes Ferrothorn, I think I just go hard, hard in center Roy. Hug me. That's that's Ferrothorn for sure. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, if he goes um, Ferrothorn, I just go hard in center or We have Veil up, so whatever he wants to throw at me should not do a whole lot of damage. And I can get a knockoff going. He could get his rocks up. Is he going to get rocks up? Spikes. Okay. So he might just have the stack on me. Um, I don't think I have removal on this team, actually, now that I think about it. So, that might be pretty detrimental, not gonna lie. Um, I think I just go for a knockoff here. I think I can go into knockoff in a Flare Blitz, and I could be perfectly fine. He withdraws. Is it in a Persian or Zapdos? Persian or Zapdos? This is Zapdos. Okay. Um. He's gonna take Hella Rocks. He's gonna take this knockoff as well. And we are behind Veil, so I will 100% take, um, what's it called? A Hurricane better? So I might actually just Outrage instead. Just so I don't have to take the recoil damage. Yeah, I'm going to Outrage so I don't have to take recoil damage. As he's actually just going to Roost on me. Okay, I should have clicked for what's done. Because I don't think Outrage is doing that much to Zapdos. Yeah, Outrage isn't doing a whole lot. And we're stuck into this, so he can just hurricane for free. Oh, he's just going to keep roosting on me. That's fine. It is what it is. And I have to keep kicking Outrage. I mean, at least we don't, we, you know, timer doesn't tick as much. Alright, so this will be our last turn of Outrage. Um, He's hella defensive for sure. Yeah. So like unless we can get a burn going with uh with flare blitz, we're kinda screwed. The Zap this is a problem. We're just gonna get one more outrage going. I believe we get confused. Yeah, okay. So I do wanna make a swamp. Um I think I go back into Beskin Robbins. And I wonder if we're going to see a bit of a different move other than Hurricane come through. 
We're gonna take spikes. We're gonna get hail back up. So we're getting a hail chip. Um, now I could make a double. Yeah, I'm gonna make a double here. Or I could just also I could also just Blizzard. Oh, Veil ended. I kind of want to get it back up. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Veil back up. He's gonna go so ally. I imagine he goes Sovala here. As he actually just heat waves me. We oh my god, I feel so bad. That's two attacks that he's missed that are like kind of huge, look key. I'm gonna blizzard. And it should kill from this range if he's fully defensive. He's going to go for the U-turn. That's fine. I imagine it's in the Sovali here. Who am I? Yeah, Sovali. We're going to get some chip. Yeah, some decent chip. Um, I don't really know what he goes for here, but I think, I think I got to go into my, my mail metal. Yeah. And I can click Darkest Lariat on the Ferrothorn coming in. It won't take a whole lot or I can double. I might actually make the double play into my, um, into my Incineroar. Cause I do expect him to go Ferrothorn. Either way, if he stays in with Sovala, I can click a Flare Blitz and probably claim a life. Um, considering where Zapdos is at. That's not really a bad play. That's really not a bad play. But Zapdos can just restart me for free, I guess. So it really depends on like what kind of situation we're in, you know? As he's thinking about this play for sure. Um, it's a it's a pretty big one. I could go Melmetal and he could get damage off on me. Right? Um Okay. I, I think he's faster, so that means that he did not swamp. Does he have flamethrower? He has flash cannon, so he is special. And we are assault vest. He gets a crit. And crit did no, no kind of damage, I'm gonna be real with you. So it's a pretty easy play for me. I'm gonna click Darkest Lariat actually. I'm not gonna go into my my um what's it called? My Incineroar just yet. As he does parting shot in. Okay. So I guess it's probably a good thing I didn't go into Incineroar, because I do not want that attack drop. And I imagine he goes for a thorn. We're gonna get damage off. Hug me. Yeah, he does go into Fire Thorn, so we are gonna get damage off. We're gonna get rocks, darkest lariat, and hell chip. And that does no damage. Wow. Is he Iron Bob's Rocky Helmet? He's Iron Bob's Rocky Helmet. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Hades. Pretty easy play for me. And I just clicked Flare Blitz. Um, Zapdos doesn't necessarily want to take a Flare Blitz. He has Leech Seed. That's fine. Damn, this is a tough game. So, so, I click Flare Blitz here. I don't think he'll be faster than me. He does withdraw. Fair play. And a Zapdos. Zapdos is going to take Rocks and Flare Blitz. If he can get a crit, we'll probably kill. Damn. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. He can roost on me. I'll die to recoil, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I'll die to recoil at this range. So he could just kill me or he could roost on me. Roost wouldn't be bad. He does go for the roost. So Incineroar... Dies to recoil. That's... That sucks, man. That, that really does suck. Um... 
So I'm gonna go into my my Melmetal. Holy shit, Melmetal's lower than I thought. Oh, uh, I am Barb's Rocky Helmet. Okay, so I kind of want to make a double. He's gonna go into in the in the Ferrothorn, and when he goes into Ferrothorn, I'm gonna go into my Gardevoir, and there's a reason for this. There's a reason for this. I go into Gardevoir because I can Mystical Fire, and Mystical Fire should kill Ferrothorn from where it's at. That's my thought process with it. He does withdraw. Show me Ferrothorn. Alright, bet. Bet. So we're Scarfed with Mystical Fire. He can go into Gengar, but I feel like that's such a risky play for him. And <laughs> we traced the Iron Bars. I forgot we traced, Lucky. Aurora Veil Blair is off. I click Mystical Fire. And if he wants to give me this thing, then he gives me this thing. I don't see him safely switching into anything else, though. He could go Azelf, he could go Persian. But he has to run the risk that I'm not Scarfed with Persian. And I can click Moonblast and kill it. Well, actually, no. Persian's faster than me. So, I, I don't know. But either way, I, I think... I think... Gardevoir might claim a life. I feel like Gardevoir might claim a life here. Because if he goes Gengar... He goes Azelf. Okay. Azelf's gonna take rocks. Azelf's gonna take this Mystical Fire. And that Loki does damage, so I'm just gonna click it again. I'm just gonna click it again. Azelf could have Shadow Ball, so I might have just misplayed my Gardevoir here. I might have just misplayed my Gardevoir. Does he have Shadow Ball? He does have Shadow Ball. At minus two, I don't think this will kill me. Yeah. And like I said, Gardevoir kind of just claims a life here. So if he wants to give me Azelf, he's going to give me Azelf right here. And I, got, I mean, he doesn't really have much of a switch in, really. So I think I think it's I think he has to give me this. Um, I could see him swapping, but I I just I don't know. I don't see it. I don't. I don't really see it. He knows I'm scarfed because Azelf is faster than Gardevoir, by a lot. So he knows I'm scarfed. And Azelf's gonna take a lot to rock. So if it wants to, I mean, the only way he can Azelf can come back in. Is if he kills, if I kill one of his other mons, and he's just gonna give me Azov. So Gardevoir, okay, as Azov. Okay. So I imagine he goes at those here. As he actually goes big spooky. Okay. Um. He could click poison move. I think. I'm okay. Gengar. I'm going to take time for this play. If Gengar specs. Against my Necrozma. Shadow Ball does 75%. Um, I don't want to run the risk that he's scarfed. Or that he's specs. I don't think I need my Melmetal anymore. So I'm going to... We're, we're going we're gonna to gauge damage with the Melmetal. Shadow Ball does 34% max. Yeah, we're gonna die here. He's actually sub Gengar. Okay. He's sub Gengar. Um. So we know he's not Specs. He's Black Sludge.
And he can just kill us here. We're just gonna click Darkest Lariat. He's gonna kill us here for sure, though. Right? Like, that's just the easy play. Yeah. Gengar KOs. Mel Metal. Okay. So if he has Sludge Wave. How much is dude doing to Rillaboom? 95%. That's with the Assault Bus. Damn. I think I need to make the Necrozma play. And just break this thing sub. Yeah, I just have to hit Fonthon Geyser. He could just get damage off with Shadow Ball. Yeah, and he's gonna do just that. He's not gonna nasty or anything. And he does get this with Dev Trap, so we're gonna go we're gonna go down here. But at least we break this thing sub. And for whatever reason, if we don't go down here, then you know, good shit. Good shit, Necrozma. But we are in a very, very tough situation. He does Shadow Ball again. And that does pick up the KO. The Gengar, KOs, Necrozma with Shadow Ball. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go into my, my Shira. And then, um, he probably swamps. I don't think he wants to take a Psychic. But I think I have to take the Psychic anyways. Like, I can't run the risk that he actually stays in and clicks Shadow Ball. So, if he goes Persian, that's going to be a really good plan on his part. But, um... I don't know. I just don't think I can I can make a big play. Like, like predicting the Persian to come out. Who am I? So Valai. If this is a Tuco, please let this be a Tuco. That's not a Tuco. That is not a Tuco. Alright. I go to Funky Kong. And I hit Drain Punch. We're going to get our Grassy Surge up, so we are going to be getting some HP recovery from this, which is good for us. As he withdraws. Zapdos? Persian. Okay. So, Persian. Alola. Right? Against Rillaboom. Drain Punch does 44%. U-Turn does more. He's probably going to Parting Shot on me. So I'm just going to U-turn. I don't see him staying in. I think he parting shots. So we're going to make the U-turn play. And if he U-turns or if he parting shots, he just hards withdraw. Okay. In to hug me. All right. I go back in the guard of our click mystical fire. So, like I said, we go Gardevoir, we hit Mystical Fire. Um, I think Loki just claimed a life, honestly. Spikes are racking up, so I think he's trying to just force switches on me. But I, I can't, I can't, I can't allow this. I just want to run the Quick Calc. 
that Mystical Fire will kill. Yeah, Mystical Fire should always kill. Unless we get like the lowest roll possible. But even then I think it kills. So he does withdraw. Gengar, who am I? Okay, we're gonna kill this thing. So Gardevoir KOs. So Valai with Mystical Fire. Did we get some HP recovery? Um, he could go Persian on me. Persian takes 37% from... He actually goes Gengar on me. Okay. Well, I do not stay in. I think I go into my Beskin Robins. As he can just get up the sub. I'm going to click Aurora Veil, I guess, would be the play. Well, it depends on whether or not he goes for a sub. Damn. I low-key wish I was banded uh, Rillaboom now. He actually just goes for the Sludge Wave. That's fine. Will this kill me? No. But it's going to kill me on the next one. Um, Moonblast to Gengar, right? 40%. I guess I had to go Billaboom. But no, we die. We die. I'm going to get up a Aurora Veil. Maybe he'll get greedy and go for the sub. No, he does kill me with the Shadow Ball. So Gengar KOs. Vanillux. With Shadow Ball. Okay. Um... How much is Grassy Glide doing? 49, 49%. Grassy Terrain does disappear. We are at 120. And he has a layer of spike. I need a calc for Sludge Wave. Yeah, we should die to Sludge Wave. It's a guaranteed K after one layer spike, so we gotta go for the Grassy Glide. I mean, he doesn't- I don't think he knows my set fully. He might not know I'm Assault Vest just yet. But I just have to make the Grassy Glide play. And hope that I, I put it in range... ...of... ...of a Gardevoir Moonblast. He actually withdraws. Okay. Wait, this is actually really good for me. Actually, maybe not. <sighs> Grassy Glide. He gets another static. If we get paralyzed here, we lose the game. Grassy Glide looks like a roll to kill. If we get paralyzed, we lose the game. So if Rillaboom KOs this, we are still in a pretty good position, it feels like. As he goes into Ferret Thorn, okay. I'm gonna click Drain Punch. Okay. I'm honestly okay that we, we didn't get we, we got we didn't get paralyzed. Or that we got paralyzed. I do not want to take the iron barbs. So I'm just gonna click drain punch. I'm gonna drain punch like my life depends on it. And now I'm going to go, I, I think if I Drain Punch, I have to go for the knockoff next. Because I feel like he might go Gengar on me. And if he goes Gengar and we kill Gengar, I can lock myself into Moonblast and be fine, I think. That's, the, that's just the play. So if he... Fuck me, man. He's going to go for the knock. He's going to knock off my Assault Vest. Does he go Gengar on me now, though? I think I still make the Drain Punch play. Because he might not switch yet. He might not just, He might not switch out. Okay, we do get the Drain Punch off. That does some nice damage. Iron Barbs plus Rocky, Rocky Helmet. 
Gyro Ball, this will kill. And I don't think they're in range of a Moonblast. Or, well, okay, hold on. If we lock ourselves in a Psychic... No, he has Persian in the back, huh? He still has Persian. We have to lock ourselves in a Moonblast. Yeah, we know we lose, because Moonblast never kills Gengar anyways. GG, man. R played an amazing game. Um, I kind of just want to go for differential here. And and make the, the Mystical Fire play. And see if he'll if he'll stay in and and care. All right, so Gardevoir does pick up three kills this game. Ko's, Pharaoh Thorn. Unless we get like Helicrits, then then we just lose. But I'm not even sure. Crit will kill Gengar or actually Persian. Yeah, no. We, if we if we create Mystical Fire, um, we'll create Mystical Fire kill Gengar from this range. There's sixty two percent. It might. I mean, if he's not if he's like just max speed, max attack, it might. But maybe this attack drop will help us. But I doubt it. Curse body, man. Yeah, no GG for sure then. And then Gengar. Okay, uh, guard. With Sludge Wave. GG to Mario, man. He played an amazing game. We are going to fall 3 0, so we are 1 and 1 with a plus 1 differential. Um, I'm glad I went for the Mystical Fire play, because I think I would have died either way um, if, I, if I didn't. So, like I said, GG to Mario, man. Played an amazing game. It is what it is. Um, hopefully, we can bounce back next week. This was one of our tougher matchups, and on top of that, he did bring a very different team than what I expected. I was expecting uh, the the rain gang to pull up at least like Seismitoad or something. Um, letting my Incineroar go down like that—I mean, Static Zapdos is just a bitch. You know what it, you know what it does. <laughs> but it is what it is. With that being said, I'm gonna get up and out of here. I'm Coach Talon, Coach Talon of Brave Views. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.